Hi, Python 3.14 has tastings now and they fix a major security problem. Are you using Python 3.14? If not, you should definitely upgrade to Python 3.14 and use tastings. So they are pretty much similar to strings, but they work differently. Let me show you how. So let me declare one variable. It can be my name. And in the earlier version, you used to declare strings like this, right? So this is how you declare a string with variables in it. And this directly gives you a string. But these strings, they don't give you a string. They gives you a template object with parts separated. So the syntax is pretty much sim similar. You can just write T and then the same thing. And in this, you can see it gives you a template object with parts separated. So the static parts will be in the strings and the one where you have variables or values, they will be in the interpolation part, right? So why this matters? It matters because you can access parts separately and you can validate and sanitize them if you want to. And they fix so many security problems. Like one of the security problem is SQL injection problem and the other is XSS attack. So I'm gonna explain them one by one. So let me show you first how you can access uh, parts from it. So I'm gonna just, uh, you know, store this uh, template in one variable and you can access static values by, you know, writing template.strings. So this will give you all the static parts of the template and template.values will give you all the values that this variable will be having, right? So it lets you process or validate the value first and why this matters is it matters for security. Uh, let me give you one example how it mitigates SQL injection problem. So I'm going to declare one variable. It can be username. And I'm going to declare one SQL query as well. So in this SQL query, you can see uh, what we are doing is we are trying to get records from users table where name should be equal to username. And this is F string, right? And if you try to print this uh, query, you can see it replaced all the values that we had in username in the SQL query directly. And this can lead to SQL injection problem. If let's say you have a malicious query here, it can run in your server and it can lead to SQL injection problem, right? With F strings, you have this problem, but with T strings, you don't have this problem. Why? Let me give you the example. So you can just uh, declare T string. You just need to replace F with T and now you have a template object. As you can see, it gives you a template object and the values are not replaced yet. So basically you can, you know, do the validation and sanitization before actually combining it. Python 3.14 doesn't give you any parser or processor for this. You can process this uh, query by using your custom functions or maybe some other third party query. But yeah, this is very safe. And it also solves the XSS problem. Like if someone tries to inject a HTML script in your query, uh, you can also validate or sanitize it. So yeah, that was uh, that were some of the benefits of T strings. Uh, stay tuned for more updates on Python 3.14. Thank you.